Hey, what is going on, people? This is Arthur Tenchi, and yesterday it was announced that Bebop and Rocksteady will be joining the cast of the new live-action Ninja Turtles movie, uh, coming out uh, next year, 2016. Um, but while that was great news, because we have never seen Rocksteady and Bebop ever in a live-action setting before, uh, other than the sort of representations done by Toka and Razor, due to you know, uh, due to the franchise, certain things in the franchise being owned by other people, we couldn't have those in in the movies, and uh, they've only ever been in one other cartoon series. Now we have them in the in the um, 2012 series, and right now I think they're doing pretty well, despite some people's gripes about them. Um, but to each his own. Now. That's great, but now we just got uh, we just got some news that Baxter Stockman will also finally be joining the TMNT live action movie cast, and he will be played by Tyler Perry. Let me say that again. Baxter Stockman will be in the film for the first time ever, and will be played by Tyler Perry. Now, that confused me for like a few seconds for like a few seconds I am not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and harp on on that casting choice at all because honestly the way this franchise the way this franchise is going you can him and haul and whatever it's still happening it, do, it doesn't it doesn't matter it's still happening but at least we get a character who we've never seen in the team T universe at least in the live action setting actually get some screen time and now I'm just thinking to myself, what version is he going to play? Are they going to do the sniveling, groveling genius scientist with a sort of an ego version they did back in the 1987 um, the cartoon series? Are they going to do more of the mad scientist role that he played in, in the original comics, as well as the 2003 series, as well as kind of the, kind of the combination of of the of the two personalities that they have in the new series which i i really enjoy i mean like one minute he's not he's, he's a scientist that's not taken seriously at all and um and uh, he takes it upon himself after inventing the mausers and whatever to you know to basically try and take over the city on his own that i that i could get behind because it would be the first time we ever get to see baxter stockman in a live action series just the fact that that it's Tyler Perry threw me off, but I'm not gonna gripe about it because really it's the character that a lot of people have wanted to see. On top of the fact that we finally get Casey Jones, and we find and we're finally getting um and we're finally getting a Bebop and Rocksteady. So let's just hope that these characters aren't just in the background. I just hope that these, none of these characters are just in the background. I hope that they actually have parts. Because they screwed Karai's character up in the in uh, in um, in the first version of this of this part of the franchise. You know that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. But yeah, they screwed her up. They basically did, didn't give her anything to do. You know what I'm saying? Like she was just bad. She was just background noise. She was a commander that did really nothing. So I hope that when they bring in Bebop, Rocksteady, Casey Jones, and Baxter Stockman, that they have more to do than just be background characters who occasionally move. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what you guys think in the comments of all this news. Um, if you don't like Tyler Perry, who would you who would you prefer play um, play this role? Because honestly, I don't care. Um, but anyway, I've repeated myself enough. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video. Peace love and never be normal. Thank you for subscribing.